Hi, I'm Sue Moreni. I'm one of the OBGYN physicians here at UW Medicine, and I'm really excited to introduce our new tele-OB program. We developed this program here at UW Medicine to really cater to our patients' needs, to make prenatal care more convenient, and to bring the medicine to you. We believe that any busy, expecting mother can really benefit from this tele-OB program. A lot of women are juggling many different responsibilities and this is really a program that is a service that can bring together the best of both worlds, convenience as well as excellent prenatal care. When patients join the Tele-OB program, they'll be given a welcome kit, which includes written instructions, as well as the equipment they'll need to take their blood pressure at home, and a fetal Doppler to listen to the baby's heartbeat. Patients just need to download an app on either their mobile device or their laptop computer, which will allow them to do these video visits. I'm Sue Moreni. Thanks for watching this video and your interest in our Tele-OB program. Stand by for a short video tutorial on how to use the Tele-OB equipment. Welcome to the Tele-OB program. Virtual prenatal care gives you more flexibility during your pregnancy while ensuring that you're still in the best possible hands. Now that you have your equipment, getting started is easy. You should have a UW eCare account, a Zoom Cloud meeting account, a smartphone, computer, or tablet with a video camera and microphone, a blood pressure cuff, a fetal Doppler monitor, a bathroom scale, optional. Before every virtual prenatal appointment, you'll use your equipment to record the following, your blood pressure, your baby's heart rate, and your weight if you have a scale. Then send an eCare message to your OB physician before your appointment. You'll get the Zoom link on the morning of your appointment. Using your smartphone, computer, or tablet, you'll sign into Zoom for virtual visits with your tele-OB provider to go over your results and review any pregnancy questions or concerns. Recording your blood pressure. Monitoring your blood pressure helps your doctor keep you and your baby healthy. Refer to the reference manual included with your blood pressure cuff for product usage instructions. To get an accurate blood pressure measurement, be sure to relax for five minutes before taking your blood pressure, sit in a chair with your legs uncrossed, place your blood pressure cuff snug against your skin, not over clothing, rest your arms on a flat surface, your blood pressure is written as two different numbers. A normal blood pressure is less than 140 over 90. If it is higher than this, call your tele-OB provider. Your provider will read this blood pressure as 108 over 69. Recording your baby's heart rate with the Doppler monitor. A fetal Doppler monitor is a handheld ultrasound device that helps you hear your baby's heartbeat. Your doctor has likely already shown you how to use this at home, but here are a few reminders. Lean back or lie down with your belly exposed. Turn on the Doppler and put ultrasound gel on the belly or the wand. Find the heartbeat. Place the probe between your belly button and the rounding of your lower belly. Using some pressure, move the probe around slowly to find the heartbeat. If you don't hear it at first, try changing the angle of the probe. After 28 weeks, you may find the fetal heartbeat near the side of the belly button rather than below. Be patient. Since your baby will move around and change positions, it may take several minutes to find the heartbeat, and you may have to search around your abdomen. This is okay. After you find the heartbeat, wait a few seconds and record the average number you see on the screen. A Doppler measures your baby's heart rate in beats per minute. Variation is fine. By 16 weeks, normal fetal heartbeats range from 110 to 180 beats per minute. Before 16 weeks, you likely won't be able to hear a heartbeat with the Doppler, so don't be concerned if you can't. Most fetal Doppler monitors allow you to turn the volume up. 
If you'd like, bring your Doppler to your regular in-clinic appointment and ask your provider for help and reassurance on using it. Recording your weight. We recommend checking your weight to be sure your weight gain is healthy, but if you don't have access to a scale, your doctor can do this during clinic visits. To record your weight using a bathroom scale, be sure to record in pounds, use the scale on a flat surface, remove your shoes and or any heavy clothing beforehand. If you're having trouble with your equipment or have any questions, contact your healthcare team.